So if you saw the title of this video, I know what you're probably thinking, and that's another orange and teal video. We don't need another orange and teal video. But I'm going to show you a way in the new DaVinci Resolve 17 how you can do it tastefully. Because if we're being honest and you search around the web, you'll notice that a lot of those are a bit heavy handed and a bit too much. But what I'll show you using the color warper in Resolve is how you can do it in a way that retains the neutral colors like white and black and still add a touch of that nice teal and orange color mix. So let's go ahead and take a look and I'll see you on the other side. So here we are on the color page of DaVinci Resolve. The first thing that we're going to do is white balance the footage. So we'll select the white balance picker, click on something that's white within our footage. And just to verify that it's actually white, what we'll do is hover over that with the picker, make sure all those numbers are pretty close. Once we have that, we'll head down to the bottom to the color warper window. If you don't have that open, go ahead and do that. Next step, is we're going to expand that window so we can see it a bit larger. Now this is how it normally looks when it first starts up, but we're going to choose the other option across the top where it starts to look like this. On that top row, I'm going to choose the third option over, which is the pin option. And what this will do is pin the points that you select. So right now is I'll draw our bounding box around the middle portion, which is basically the neutral section of that footage. And then you'll notice if I move that over, nothing happens to the middle points. Now, if I hadn't pinned it, I'll show you on this one on the right hand side, everything starts to move together, including those points in the middle. So that's why we pin the ones on the left hand side. So what I'm going to end up doing here is taking everything on the left hand side of that window and pushing it towards the middle, the ones that we pinned, and then everything on the right hand side, which is the blue area towards the middle. And what ends up happening here, as you may notice, is that the only colors that we're left with are the ones on the right hand side, which is our green and magenta. Clearly that's not what we want to end up with. We don't want our footage to look like this. So what we're going to have to do, because those colors are opposites, like orange and teal are opposites, we're going to bring up our vector scope and we're going to use the hue option so that we can more define where the colors are pointed. So we'll adjust the hue. So this is a sort of a hue rotate we'll get that close to maybe where the skin tone line is. So right now I'm going to minimize the scopes. And so far I am liking what I'm seeing. The only problem that I see with it is that it needs to be brought more to life. It looks a little bit flat to me and not necessarily flat in the way that the footage was shot, but that it needs to have more life to it. This is what it looked like before, and this is the adjustment that we made. So in order to bring that life back, what I'm going to do is add an additional serial node. We'll come down to saturation, and that will just add a lot more vibrancy to the footage. You'll notice here that it actually really makes that footage pop. Another thing that I want to touch on is, if we look at the original footage, You'll see that there's green on the tree back there. And we took that away when we made our color adjustments because we limited the colors that we can see. However, we can bring that back. So if we head back to the color warper and drag that bottom out a little bit, it will bring back the green on the left hand side. So this is something that we'll have to play with a little bit by eye because this will adjust some other colors and maybe adjust how the footage looks overall. So previously, this is what the footage looks like. And now we've introduced that green back into our footage. She looks a bit too yellow, but I'll head down to the bottom, go ahead and adjust the hue. And now I think we've really dialed in our footage. I'll show you a little before and after. And that's basically all it takes to get that particular look. I have another piece of footage here. I've already color balanced it on the first node. So that way we brought it to a neutral starting point. And we can do the same thing. We'll go ahead and select the second node, come down to the color warper, make that window a little bit larger, grab our pin tool on the right hand side, go ahead and pin those points in the middle on the left hand side. And then we'll drag everything from the left towards the middle. And obviously everything from the right towards the middle. And that will give us our green and magenta look that we had with our previous footage. Now we'll close that window. I'll add an additional serial node. And this is the one that will go ahead and adjust our hue. 
So I'll hue rotate until the skin looks a little more like skin. And I think that we have it pretty close there. I'm going to add yet another additional node and we'll add the saturation as we did in the previous example. Now, because this limits the color so much that you're almost left with just the two, one thing that you can do is lessen the impact. So if you select the ones that we've made the adjustments on, right click and choose the option to create a compound node, then we can select that, come down to our keying section at the bottom of the screen in our color page, and just lower the intensity there by lowering the gain on the key output. So what I'm going to do now is show you a before and after of both of those pieces of footage and whether or not you like the new results. Let me say that I'm not suggesting that this is the best way to do it or even that this is the way that professional colorists do it. And I know there are tons of ways that it can be done, such as with secondaries where you can select the skin and turn the background teal. But I just hope that this gives you an additional option to choose from. And if it works for you, that's great. If you like what you saw here, go ahead and subscribe. All my links are in the description below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.